Hi, uh, we are going to talk about how to solve linear equations when the variable is on both sides. Uh, we have a pretty standard approach for that. We are going to simplify each side if possible. Uh, sometimes you have to distribute, sometimes you have to collect like terms. And then we are going to move our variable to one side only. Which side does not matter. So let's take a look at this. You got 3x minus 7 equals 5x plus 9. We can't really combine anything here. There are no like terms and you don't have any like terms here. So we are going to skip step one, obviously. So you need to move the variable on both sides. It's your choice. I'm just going to keep it consistent and I'm going to get rid of my variables on the right. So if I subtract 5x, that's going to take care of that. It's going to cancel. I'm going to have negative 2x minus 7 equals 9. Add 7, add 7, negative 2x equals 16. And then both sides will need to be divided by negative 2. And now you're going to have x equals negative 8. Or sometimes we write the answer like that. Depends on the format. This equation here has a little bit more involved. You probably notice that right there you will have to distribute. So I want to remind you about the distributive property. So 2 times t is 2t, 2 times 5 is 10, still minus 7, and still 5t plus 9 on the other side. Please note right here, these two terms are like terms, and they should be combined before you proceed. 2t, te, positive 10 minus 7 is positive 3, equals 5t plus 9. At this point, if you look at example 1, you should probably see that it looks pretty much the same as the original example 1 did. So you, we are going to do the same thing. Subtract 5t, subtract 5t, we're going to get negative 3t plus 3 equals 9. Subtract 3, you're getting 3, negative 3t equals 6. And then we divide both sides by negative 3. And our answer is going to be t equals negative 2. Okay. Let's take a look at some problems that are a little bit more involved. Take a look at example 3. So there's definitely a lot more here. Let me address a couple of things first. Uh, we do have this where we need to distribute the 3. And also right there you have minus and then in parentheses m plus 3. When you see that, the best way to look at that is if you have negative 1 in front of it. And when you are going to distribute that, please remember you have to distribute negative 1. It's a very common mistake when students don't do that. So let's take a look. It gives us 3m minus 3, still plus 7. We distributed this right there. Equals 5m. Now we're distributing negative 1. So minus m minus 3. We have a few sets of like terms. We have these two here and we have these two here. Right? So 3m we got negative 3 plus 7, 3m plus 4. On this side, we're going to have 5m minus m, that's minus 1m, which is 4m minus 3. If we subtract 4m on both sides now, to cancel it on one side, we're going to get negative 1m, or simply negative m, plus 4 equals negative 3. Subtract 4. We have negative m equals negative 7. Let me copy that. And what we typically do at this point, we divide by negative 1. Because remember, we need to get m by itself, not negative m. So m equals positive 7. You can see how busy problem uh, example 4 is, but we, as long as we follow the same approach, it's really not going to be that difficult. So here, remember, you need to distribute negative 4. Here we have to distribute the 7, positive 7. Here we have to distribute, as you guessed, negative 2. All right? So, negative 4 times k is negative 4k. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. 7 times 3 is plus 21. 7 times negative k is negative 7k. 9 stays, 
negative 2 times k is negative 2k, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Now we're going to have to look for like terms. It's a little busy here. So we have here negative 4 and negative 7k. Let's take care of that first. And on this side we have 9 minus 6. Sometimes your terms may be separated by another term. You still can combine them. Just be careful with the signs. So it's negative 4k minus 7k will give you negative 11k plus 4 plus 21. I'll get to that in a moment. On this side we have 9 minus 6. 9 minus 6 is 3 minus 2k. As some of you might have noticed already, we have another pair of like terms here, plus 4 plus 21, which will give you 25. So negative 11k plus 25 equals 3 minus 2k. I need to combine my like terms. So if I add 2k on both sides, this will allow me to cancel that. So I'm going to end up with negative 9k plus 25 equals 3. Subtract 25, correct. Let me continue on this side here. So we have negative 9k equals 3 minus 25 is negative 22. Divide both sides by negative 9. They do not divide, so we are going to leave it as a fraction. Uh, or if you have to, you can plug it in the calculator and actually get a decimal, but then you need to know what approximation you need. I have two more examples that are going to be special cases. So let's take a look at this. First problem, you see that we have to distribute to 2. And here we ha have to distribute negative 3. So 2x plus 6 minus 15 equals 5x minus 3x minus 9. 6 minus 15 here can be combined. We have 2x minus 9. 5x minus 3x will give you 2x minus 9. So if I take care of this now, this is going to give you an interesting outcome. Kind of unexpected. This is where sometimes students um, get puzzled because they don't know how to proceed from here and I've seen all kinds of answers that students get. What you have here, this is a true statement. And since it's a true statement, what that means, that means no matter what x is, this will always be true. It doesn't matter, you can pick any value of x, substitute it in on the left side, substitute it on the right side, you will always get the same statement. So if you get a true statement here, your answer is going to be all real numbers. It is also sometimes what's referred to as infinitely many solutions. Or sometimes we write that uh, in this form which represents all real numbers. Okay, but these are the two most common ones. And example 6. So, same thing here. We will need to distribute that 2 here. So, we're going to get 2, uh, I'm sorry, 3x plus 7 minus x equals 2x plus 6 plus 4. Please note, 3x minus x is 2x plus 7 equals 2x plus like terms 10. And when you subtract 2x, you are going to lose the variable. But now you get a statement that says 7 equals 10. Um, since we lost the variable, we need to look at the statement that we have. And that statement is false. I hope you all believe that 7 does not equal 10. And that's not going to happen. So what does that tell you? That tells you that no matter what x is going to be, your equation will never have... Uh, um, it's not going to be possible to make the two sides equal each other because initially they are not equal. So your answer here is no solution. Or sometimes we put this symbol which represents an empty set. Okay, so I hope this helps.